Why have you drawn attention to all of this instead of shying away from it? So I think uh, sort of anxiety grows in the dark, really. I think I spent years and years thinking, oh, I am the only one with this problem, and by keeping quiet, wasn't letting anybody else with the same problem realise that we're never really alone. Yeah, you know, whatever your issue is, there are seven million of us. There'll be somebody else out there who understands, identifies, and can help. And, and how, how many people? How uh, common is small? Well, it depends on how you define it. If you say that small is less than average, then uh, that's, that's half of all men. That's one in okay. two. Well, OK, let's, uh, let's address this straight away. We have got mocked up in studio if you're of a nervous disposition. Look away now. But we've got two cardboard cutouts. Let's have a look at those, right? The one on the right of your screen, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, we don't need to see it close up. I think we can see it from the full distance, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, represents the average size worldwide in a resting position, shall we say. Uh, the one on the left of your screen, Ant, is something that you would identify with. You would term this to be a, what is termed a micro-penis, right? Uh, so I wouldn't use that term myself. Right. It's a very specific medical term, uh, and uh, I don't think it's particularly helpful, and it's really a means of labelling people, yeah. and I don't think we should I do think that. a lot of people, though, will look at that and they will want to know, judging by the average and uh, how they measure up to that, where they stand. Now, you can show us... The thing, about, the thing about the one on the left of the screen, which would represent you, yeah. you, can show, you can show us what it is like extended, though, and this is, this is part of the whole... So it's one one issue that you want. So, you, if you please would show, show yeah. us that, and then I think that will extend. Show yes, us absolutely, thank you. absolutely. And uh, this is one of the beauties of it, actually, because this um, ex amount of extension is uh, something which could, could you maybe stand on the other side, my friend, just so the camera gets this. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. So, if we leave that there, fully extended. Yeah. Um, then you begin to talk about this whole myth or argument, size is everything, is size everything, and you feel you can do a lot when you are at full working capacity? Yes, because uh, I use more than just that part of my anatomy in my relationship with my beautiful wife. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. So they're saying, so the, the average penis erect is 5.16 inches. That's correct, yeah. And yours is four, so there's only actually, once, once erect, there's only an inch in it. Yeah. Um, why do you think a lot of men lie about the size of their manhood? Therefore, it causes this insecurity amongst I think, men. I think I think men uh, certainly will uh, exaggerate, exaggerate, round up, uh, maybe uh, not answer such questions directly. But when I was growing up, it's definitely it, it, uh, the received wisdom was that average was like between six and seven and therefore when you get an anxiety you stick that seven number in your mind and you, you, you actually believe. You know what sticks in my wife's mind? She was on holiday in Rome and she, oh, yeah. she had, yes, she came across a statue. Several statues, uh, several statues. Several statues. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is the most uh, famous one, the David statue here. And as my wife points out, why are they all, I don't know, if we need to do a close-up, maybe that's the one we should have been doing a close-up on. But um, my wife points out, as you can see there, oh, uh, David so. wasn't overly generously endowed. So, it raises the question, how typical uh, is David? Uh, so, uh, uh, I think, uh, Reece, I, I went down to some of the museums, took photographs and did orthogonal projections right. and worked out that actually the majority of those surviving statues are pretty typical. The, of, of what we find in men today. Uh, and so this statement that, oh, he's not well endowed, is actually only something we say because our, our expectations are skewed from, yeah. from, from, from everything that we hear. In his day, that was a perfectly normal... In this day, it's a perfectly yeah. normal... Yes. Yeah. So regarded um, as a thing of your, beauty. What does your wife, um, Christine, think about you going so public? Because you've been on this morning with Eamon and I before, yep. but kind of 18 months ago, with two other men yeah. to discuss this. So you're very keen to raise awareness, to get men. You said one in two men are going to be thinking that, that, that they're much smaller than somebody else. So, well, what so does she think about it, though, that you being so public? Um, I think she's quite... I think she's always been quite proud of, uh, of, of the sort of the things that I write and publish because it's always been addressed at um, trying to trying to make the world a bit better. Really. And I tell you what, you yeah. speak quite directly. It wouldn't be for everybody this book. It's, it's hardly light bedtime reading. I mean, it is quite direct. But could I ask you something? Um, 
newspapers, magazines, ads on your phone, whatever, all out there trying to make a lot of men think they can do something about the way they are endowed. Is there any value in any of those things? Do any of those things work? So there's a couple of things that definitely work, and uh, one is um, control of weight. You know, as you as you put weight on, yes. then more of that gets buried. Um, and then, uh, so you actually had a smaller belly, you may yeah. have a bigger something else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that can you know that can make up to a couple of centimeters difference. Uh, and then there are um, uh, traction devices which if used under medical um, supervision. support, yeah, supervision, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, over a long time, yes. it's attraction, yes, you don't want to be pulling anything off. You, you, you do not. You want to, uh, yeah, you want some medical help there. strictly controlled. Don't be yeah. pulling anything unless it's under medical supervision. <laughs> That's correct. And it's all there. He's published the Bible on this. He's Ant Smith. And um, he's a very brave man for talking about all of this. Thank you very much indeed. No, thank you for thank having me.